Subscribe to our CV Academy channel to get video tutorials on latest technologies. And visit our website rcvacademy.com for more tutorials. Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial from rcvacademy.com. In this tutorial, we will learn about Python virtual environment and what exactly is Python virtual environment and what are its benefits. So as you can see on the slide, I have uh, noted a couple of points or the key points that will explain what exactly is Python virtual environment. So we'll go through each of these points one by one and see uh, what benefits or what exactly is Python virtual environment and then what benefit it, it, it provides. So the first point says tool to create isolated working copy of Python environment. So Python virtual env is a tool to create an isolated working copy of Python environment. Now, why is having an isolated working copy of Python environment important? This is because, um, for example, you are working on a couple of projects and the dependencies or the package dependencies for each project is different. Uh, then in that case, your Python virtual environment will create an isolated working copy so that you can install different versions or different dependencies in each environment. Um, so that's the first benefit of having Python virtual environment. Uh, it has its own installation directories that does not share dependencies, packages with other virtual environment. And that's um, uh, in continuation with the first point because virtual environment has its own installation directories uh, then you have you can install different packages you can install different versions of the packages uh, depending on uh, what exactly is required for that particular project without worrying about uh, corrupting the um, uh, global installation now the third point says enables you to install different versions of dependencies required by different projects which is just uh, uh, another benefit so you you ha you can have different dependencies also you can have different versions of those dependencies for example you have project a which requires version one of certain dependency but you have project b which requires version two of that particular same dependency then you can have that different versions uh, in different virtual environment for projects so that's another key benefit of having a virtual environment uh, and the last thing is kind of it keeps your global Python unpolluted. Um, uh, when I say that, what it means is that, say, for example, you have three different projects, project A, B and C, uh, and project A requires uh, dependencies, you know, say one, two and three, and project B requires three, four and five. So you can have different dependencies installed in different project environments and do not uh, corrupt or do not install everything in the global Python um, site packages because uh, it's the site packages wherein you, you have all the de those dependencies and packages and versions. So in case you don't have the ability or flexibility to create the virtual environments, what will happen is that you will end up um, installing certain version of a dependency or certain dependency in that global uh, Python and then in case in future uh, your project requires a different version uh, then you have to you know like uh, your project a will stop working so in that case what you need to do is you need to create virtual environment and then in each for, for each particular project and then depending on what dependencies are required in that particular project you install those dependencies you install those versions and then um, it will keep your global python unpolluted so that is a bit of basics around what is python virtual environment and why it is very helpful and kind of uh, must have if you are really uh, going to work on the python projects so now the second bit to this is uh, i'll explain or i'll give you a demo how you can create the python virtual environment um, so in the second slide, I have um, all the steps that are required to set up a Python virtual environment and how to use it, right? So first step is to check if the virtual environment is already installed on your machine. So how you, need, how you can check it, you just need to type in the 
command virtual env um, space hyphen hyphen version so i'll open uh, the terminal i'll just type in virtual env space hyphen hyphen version right so i don't have uh, virtual environment installed on my machine so I, uh, i'll follow the second step uh, which is install virtual environment so to install virtual environment you can either use easy install or you can use pip to install the virtual environment so just type in the command sudo pip install virtual environment uh, virtual env and it will install virtual environment on your uh, machine uh, so you can use either of the commands mentioned in the step two so i'll go back to the terminal and i'll say sudo pip install virtual env and just hit enter it will ask for the admin password so just type in your admin password and enter and it will download the uh, dependencies and everything and it will say successfully installed virtual environment to check whether the virtual environment has been successfully installed uh, just type in the same command again virtual env hyphen version uh, and now you can see that virtual environment 16.0.0 has been installed on my machine now the third step is to create a directory for the new virtual environment so before once the virtual environment has been installed what you need to do is you need to install you need to create a separate directory for each project that you will be working on so that you have a separate segregation basically of the packages and versions that you'll be installing in that particular project so i'll create uh, a directory um, so i'll say mkdir uh, and i'll say python virtual env right uh, so i'll just type in sudo okay so it created the python uh, virtual environment directory now uh, the fourth step is to create new virtual environment okay so what you need to do is you need to go to that directory that we have just created and fire the command virtual env and the name of the project within that directory uh, for which you want to create the virtual environment right so just type in cd and the directory name that we just created now i am in the directory um, python virtual environment and now i'll just create the virtual environment for the project for rcv project i'll just say rcv project uh, so just type in virtual uh, env and just say rcv project right and hit enter oops Oh, so it's basically uh, permission is denied so I'll just type in sudo in case you are getting this uh, permission denied you just need to fire in the command sudo uh, and enter all right so it will uh, what it will do is it's basically installing all the setup tools pip everything for that vir particular virtual environment so each virtual environment will be having its own version or its own pip um, in there so now the installation has been done uh, so after creating the virtual environment now you have to activate the virtual environment and uh, start working in that particular virtual environment so to activate virtual environment what you need to do is you just need to type in the command source and then go to that uh, provide the location of that project so name of the project bin and uh, slash activate so I'll say source and then RCV project and bin and slash activate. All right. Okay. So now you can see that I am um, in the Py Python virtual environment and now it has been activated already. So I'll clear the screen. Um, so now uh, in that particular screen if you want to see 
So now after activating uh, the virtual environment, you can see this RCV project virtual environment uh, highlighted here uh, and mentioned on the prompt. That means you are in that particular virtual environment already. Uh, to check what Python version you are using now, if you just type in Python hyphen version, you can see Python 3.7.0 you're using. And similarly for pip version, uh, it will list the pip version. So pip 18 from Python 3.7 is being used. Uh, if you type in pip list, uh, it will list out all the packages um, that are available in this particular virtual environment. Right, so that's uh, activating the virtual environment. And now to in order to deactivate, just type in deactivate. And now you can see there is no, um, it, it, it has deactivated this virtual environment, it came out. So if you just um, go to the root and just type in Python uh, hyphen version again. And now you can see that now Python, the default uh, Mac OS Python 2.7.10 is available, right? So similarly for uh, pip version, uh, oh, sorry, uh, yeah, pip uh, at the moment so showing 3.7. Now, the other important thing to remember here is, so for example, you want to create a virtual environment using a specific version of Python. Uh, you can do that by creating, uh, I'll just go to the directory, I'll say Python virtual environment, uh, and just say Python, uh, sorry, uh, I'll say virtual env hyphen p, and then select the version of the Python that you want to use, so just um, go to the location, uh, I'll say user bin uh, Python, And so at the moment you see Python 2.7, um, so Python 2.7, uh, and then provide the name of the folder or name of the virtual environment. So I'll say RCV project 2.7. Okay, I'll just say that and enter. Oops, I again forgot to do the sudo, so I'll just enter sudo and provide the password oops so I have to type in again okay so now it will create uh, install setup tools pip etc for python 2.7 with, with python 2.7 so now to activate if i just say ls i'll see i'm able to see rcv project which is basically with python 3.7 and rcv project 2.7 uh, virtual environment which is with um, python 2.7 so if i go ahead and activate uh, the python so now since i've created uh, the virtual environment with python 2.7 now i'll go and activate so i'll just say source rcv project 2.7 uh, slash bin slash activate uh, in order to activate 2.7 so i'll just say source rcv project 2.7 slash bin slash activate right so now you can see i am i have activated uh, I'll clear the screen to make it more clear. So now you can see I'm in RCV project 2.7 uh, environment. And if you just type in Python hyphen version, you can see Python 2.7.10 is available and pip version is pip 18 from Python 2.7. Right, so that is how you install or create a virtual environment with a specific version of Python if required. So that's pretty much all about the virtual environment and how to create it. What are the benefits of the virtual environment? Uh, hope you liked the video. Uh, please do share and subscribe.
to get more informative videos like this. Thank you very much.